The layout of the Missing Angles homework is almost identical to the layout of the Missing Sides homework. Um, and our method to begin with is exactly the same. We label the sides, we always do that. So for my first triangle here, this is my angle. So this five is the opposite and seven is the hypotenuse. So I think to myself, okay, if I've got O and H, I am going to use so, I'm going to use sin. Sign is the correct word, of course. We just say sin. We know that sin equals op over hype. Let's put in our numbers. We don't know what the angle is on this triangle, so let's just put it sin x, unknown. Um, op is known, the opposite side is 5, and the, adjacent, the hypotenuse side is 7. I want to get rid of sin. To get rid of sin, I put sin minus 1. Not very imaginative. And then I put the fraction next to that. And I put that into my calculator, that would give my angle. Be careful, angles to the nearest whole number. That is standard procedure. We cannot measure really more than to the nearest whole degree. Um, obviously, if it asks for us to the three sig fig, then give it. But most of the time, it's nearest whole number. Let's look at the one below. So we've got x. This is the adjacent because it's next to the side. And this is the hypotenuse. So Sokotoa, we're using cos, and cos is adjo over hype. 